So we can use Gauss's law to work out the electric field in and around a conductor which contains a cavity with a charge. So let's start with a really simple example to show how this can be done. So imagine that we had a neutral sphere with a radius capital R. Now we're going to put a cavity within our sphere, so we'll make it a nice spherical cavity to keep it simple with a radius R subscript C. And then inside that cavity, we're going to put a positive charge plus Q. It can be anywhere within the cavity. Let's start by working out the charge distribution for this situation here. And in order to do that, we're going to need to remember that the electric field inside a conductor is equal to zero. Now this has to be the case because it's a conductor so it contains charge carriers. If they are in an electric field, they're going to feel a force and they will move under the influence of that force until they've cancelled out the electric field and no longer feel a force. So we know that the electric field inside that conductor is zero. So let's take a Gaussian surface which is just outside the radius of the cavity. So it's inside the conductor. And so because it's inside the conductor, we know that there is zero electric field there. So Gauss's law tells us that the integral of E dot dA is equal to zero because the electric field is zero. And so zero is equal to Q enclosed over epsilon naught. Now epsilon naught is a number, it's not equal to infinity. So this tells us that the enclosed charge must be zero. So within our Gaussian surface, we know that we've got a charge of plus Q inside the cavity. But because we've got a total charge zero, that tells us that there must be another charge of minus Q somewhere there as well. And so that must be on the surface of that cavity. Now at the start we said that our conducting sphere was neutral. So if we have a charge of minus Q somewhere, then there must be an equal and opposite charge plus Q somewhere as well. And we've already said that the electric field everywhere within the conductor is zero. So we can't have these spread throughout our conductor. So they must be on the outer surface of the conductor. So this tells us that we have a charge of plus Q spread evenly around the outer edge of that conductor. So make sure that you know how to use Gauss's law to show that the electric field inside the cavity is given by E is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R squared. That's for radii R is less than RC. That inside the conductor, the electric field is equal to zero. So that's for radiuses between RC and capital R, the radius of the conductor and that for radiuses larger than the radius of the conductor, the electric field is given by Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R squared. The method for doing this is exactly the same as the method used for calculating the electric field due to a sphere of charge.